Okay, danger zone. Okay, we'll be doing a couple landings here. Welcome everybody. Good morning. Doing a couple landings. This is new throw so you can see how it lands and see why I like it so much. I mean, it might take a little bit. Some to catch on this. It's alright though. Or not. But uh, I'm going to use it because the shit's hot. And you know, my type table is dialed in to the casino. So what I am showing you, believe me, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? If it works on this table, I'll go to the casino and it's going to work. I'm, I'm just telling you, the haters can hate, but this shit is dialed in. Okay? So just know that. Just know that. Okay? So we're going to be banging in. You know, this throw eliminates all this spike. Okay? Eliminates all this spike. And we're going to get it down in, in this range. So we're going to throw a couple here to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, just putting it out there, passing on for those that are uh, going to be able to pick it up and ready to make this real money with an easy throw. <laughs> Using a 5-4. <coughs> <coughs> We're using this 5-4-4-2. Uh, four, four, this is the throw we're using. And we're throwing it you know, like this, flipping out like that. And you know they're going to turn in the air. And they're going to land like that to the wall. They're going to land like this to the wall. We're going to be this way, you know. Close. A little close. Pretty good. We call it like, damn it, when it sells a 6410. Uh, call it look like we call it the second level of spikes. Whatever. <laughs> fucking dice. Don't give a shit, man. That's what it's fucking 10. 6410 bullshit. A ton of shit, man. Nice turn it on. But, um, that one hit this level in here. But really, when you hit it in there, same area as the uh, stack grip gets down there low. Avoid the spike aronis. Get out of there. What are you doing in there? Come on. Come on. Try to get some in there. Deep. Deep. Come out, roll. It's bad, roll. Yo, you were just out there, brother. There's one. You see how that one landed in there? That's how we want. Get it down there low. <clears throat> Keep them down there low. You'll have good results a lot of times. Of course, you know, average on this one. Uh, quite don't understand the SOR thing yet. You know what I mean? But um, I guess that's when you uh, Bumford's counting the seven at the end. He's not counting sevens during the roll or something. I don't know. I guess everyone's got their thing. You know, I, mean, I guess he counts the last seven, not any of the other sevens. I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't really throw that many sevens, you know, within my SRR. You know what I mean? Just to clarify, um, I don't throw, you know, my uh, documented SRRs, they don't have all these sevens, you know, they're seven outs, but it's not a lot of sevens. I didn't start throwing, you know, that's a 639, by the way. I didn't start throwing those sevens till I started having, uh, actually, a strongly controlled throw, ironically, like at up front, where I tell you guys, where I showed you how I've got into those strings, I'll get into strings of sevens, you know, those aren't counted in my SR, just so you guys know, that shit didn't even start happening until 
you know, I start getting really nasty, you know, because like I said, whatever I throw, I throw, but it's not a part of my SRR, 7 to rolls ratio, which I did not make that up, you know, I'm actually just passing that along, so we might start going with bone throwers thing, but SOR just counts the last 7, like see, that's a come out 7 in between points, and you know, no matter what you call it, all that matters is, is if you're hitting come out sevens, are you making money on those come out sevens? See, that's what matters to me. I mean, I you know I suggest taking documenting. That's a little bit uh, strong. I suggest uh, the wall crasher, bad throw. I mean, I definitely suggest keeping your SRR, you know, seven to rolls ratio. Um, that was made up by uh, one of um, Golden Touch. Uh, what you call it, uh, people? One of um, uh, what the hell is his name? Uh, Dominator's people. You know, one of his uh, one of his group. So I never made that up. I just something I used. You know, um, to uh, you know figure out where my you know base my throws off of. So that way I know you know when I go to the casino how long I can hang in there. You know, but it never had or consisted you know with a lot of sevens or anything like that. Like I said that start happening here within the past uh, you know year or something like that started really becoming more consistent you know hammer numbers in a row as you guys see so but I was glad to hear that though the SOR you know I like the new shit so it was way long yo you know, need the camera back here so you can see that we'll slowly pushing forward here Had a viewer ask what I think thought about that. Oh, shit. I don't know. I mean, you know what marriage is is how's your documentation? You know, how's your documentation? Uh, you know, taking your 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 roles. You know, and if I don't know if you're counting sevens or not counting sevens, whatever. I mean, whatever works for you. That's what I say, you know, get you there to where, you know, you've got a realistic, you know, idea of your role so you know how to approach the tables, you know. That was only for, from my understanding, that was only, like, the SRR, is, is, that's what it's for, so you know, you know, what your average is, you know, and it gives you a better opportunity you know, when you bet, to know, uh, you know, how long you can hang in there, kind of thing, and know where you're at, you know, just overall knowing your game better, that kind of thing. I'll tell you this much, you can kill them on that uh, junk rollers, huh? We just add some other numbers in there, you know what I mean? Don't kill those all talls a bunch. point right there guys. Third point. And, you know, I just put that out there, uh, what's our fourth nine? I put that out there for, you know, newer people, but I, I do think that you should definitely document your roles and know where you're at. There's no doubt about it. I definitely think you should document your roles in whatever system you, you go with, uh, whether it's SOR, 7-out ratio, or, um, uh, which I understand what he's talking about, you know, so it, like, eliminates the BS, and it's, from what I, I mean, I, I really like it. I mean, I guess it's, it's like a fine-tuning. It's like SRR really isn't like, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like a broad, it's kind of broad, and the SOR kind of like fine fine-tunes things. You know, tightens it up, you know what I mean? Tightens it up a little bit, you know, fine-tunes it. I guess eliminates more of the fluff, that kind of shit, you know. And this one, you know, goes for, like I said, uh, 12 to 15, you know, 12 to 15. So we're just showing some landings. I mean, we'll keep going if you want to see where we end up on this. Whatever. Come out. <clears throat> it's another 9, 5, 4. We're right at that point right now, although we have two, two in-between point come out seven. 
sevens. You know. This roll is a really nice roll, though. I'm telling you. you guys, get this thing down. We'll be real happy about that. T ho, T ho. Sunday morning, everybody. Just appreciate you viewing. <clears throat> that was a good roll right there. That was a good toss right there. See how low it got? Like I said, when you throw this one right, you're not going to get the spikes, guys. You're not going to get those spikes. I'm just telling you, I don't think people understand how powerful the stove is yet. You know, maybe I haven't come across excited about it enough or, you know, what have you, but. And so I'm showing you this landing and explaining to you a little bit so you can, you know, understand. I mean, this is the real deal. I'm trying to tell you, this is the real deal. This is no horse shit. You know, you're getting underneath them spikes, man. I mean, you see how I'm getting underneath those spikes? It's a 6 four, 10. Another 10 for you. <clears throat> shit, that's five tens right there. You tell me, can't hit a lick of a four or six. Save her life. Six volt T. Here, I'm just pushing over here like that. I wish I had another camera because I know some people will be hating, but you know, I don't give a shit, man. You guys know my table's dialed into the casino. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and believe me, this is a soft, bouncy table. You see this one right here, guys? I'm showing you. I've been slowly carving this uh, bouncy table up, showing you guys how to beat this. You know, whether you want to take it or leave it. It's up to you. It's a little bit funky. Six. Ho. You know, take it or leave it. I'm going to pass it on to the crew. Pass it on to you. So I told you it's a nice, easy roll on your hand. Nice, easy roll. Not difficult on the wrist at all, at all. Trust me, take it from me. I know. <clears throat> See, that one stayed in there, nice. That stayed in there. Now, if we didn't have those sevens, we'd have the whole damn thing right there. That would be it. You know, so, whatever, whatever. We got it all, but we wouldn't, you know, have to go back and look at that. I don't know when I got those sevens. Shit, doesn't matter. You guys get the point. You get the point, you know what I'm saying? There it is. Six. Oh. That was a good one because you could actually see how it didn't, you know, bounce around, like come out. Because sometimes they'll have a little bit too much thrust, you know, and they, they uh you know bounce down the, the table, but they're like more they're like more scudding down the table while it's spinning. You know? Shit fellas, I'm gonna have to get going. Just get a little bit late here in the two. Don't you see that? Woo! I hope I showed up in the camera, man, that spinner. That was a yo 11. Yo 11. Yo 11 spinner. Five, four, nine. Now I'm gonna have to say this throw is definitely dialed in right now as I've been uh, rolling. It's my first roll right here, guys. Definitely uh no warm warm-ups. This is Literally down in now, so you can see how I keep hitting more, you know, right at the bottom, right at the bottom where we want to, man. So that was another point right there. I don't know, man. Shit, I kind of want to keep going, but I got to get get down the road here, man. Shit, this thing's getting long in it, too. Hey, we got to get going here a bit, don't we? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Shit. All right, guys, I got to go, man. This, uh, you guys get the point. We've just been rolling and rolling. It's, you know, right there. There's another little roll for you. At the bottom. Right there. Come out wrong. Well, so our point would be six, guys. Uh, you know, keep rolling. I got to roll up out of here. See what we did here. Let's show you what we did here. Count them up. With the view. This is our come out seven. We don't know when we got those. We'll take the money, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. 
So we got 26 down there. 26, and uh, I was only going to throw 10 guys, to be honest, man. You know, to be honest. See, we got everything there. Uh, 2, 3, yo, and uh, 12. Hard ways marked over there. Two tens. Two sixes hard. Look at all those nines. Six nines, man. I'm just telling you. Look how funny that is. Look at that. It's one five. You know, we got three sixes now. One four. Uh, just one eight. So, you know, it does the same thing. You know, these rolls all do the same thing, guys. I mean, you know, hopefully, maybe you guys get amped up about that. That's four points. Four points. Um, we're just getting up out of here, man. I got to, like I said, I got to roll, man. So I keep rolling, you know, and you've seen how strong it is, but, uh, definitely overperformed. But, um, I started dialing in, getting it down in there. I actually literally was getting warmed up while I was rolling. So this is going to be a big roll. It's definitely going in the 30s, guys. C K Danger Song Craps Sunday, January 28th. Come on now. We're going to see who appreciates this roll right here. I mean, do I gotta come live stream and show you this shit in the uh, casino again? Damn it. Do you understand how powerful this roll is? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's that strong, baby. We'll see you next time. Don't forget the thumbs up because Google's hating on us. C K Danger Song. This is the side, uh, side, side stack, I guess. I don't know. Call it what you want. said I'm out of here before I go this is the dice set we're using it's correct dice set what we're throwing like this like that just like that boom throwing them out there like that letting them spin in the air rotate turn and land like this to the wall C K danger song craps let me know how you feel about these guys, about this. Those of you to get dialed in, let me know because you're going to love it. You're going to appreciate this one. Passing it on. See you next time.